Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript learning series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the JavaScript array map method. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So basically the map method create a new array populated with the result of calling a provided function on every element in calling array. So let's explain this definition with some example. So before going for the example, let's discuss uh, the expression used for the map method. Let's say I have one array. So array map method has the expression. Let's say array dot map which will have a callback function so let's create one callback function i am using the arrow function here you can use the traditional javascript function if you want and this callback function has uh, three arguments one is the uh, compulsory argument and the remaining two are the optional arguments so one is element Another one is index and the remaining is array. So, so this is the uh, expression for uh, the map function. Now let's use this with the above array. And here we are going to console all three so that we'll get to know Clear the control. Uh, let's first increase the font size and then run the code. So here if you can see if you can see we received one as an element. So basically element is the individual array elements index is the index of that particular element and the array represent the array in on which we are running this map function so this is the how map function will work now let's say i want uh, this array each i want the new array which will have the multiply of three for each of the element so so let's say const result equal to num dot map and within that i'm giving you element and as i have only one little statement i can directly here do element into 3 and that's console dot log result and let me comment out this above sample code clear the console and let's see the output so if you can see here we will get the new array which will have the result based on the past callback function so let's take another example let's say i have one array or i would say one json object 
here the obj will have the name of city and state now from this array object i want uh, or i would say this object array i want only the name array of the city so using the map function we can get this cities array let's say const cities equal to obj dot map and i would say for now i'm saying element and going to return element dot city city just and last console this result console city list clear the console and run the code so if can, you can see here we'll have the list of all cities now we can modify this particular map functions more because as uh, if you are not aware about the arrow functions i will add the i will have the separate video for the arrow functions so you can check that video and uh, for now as we don't have the return statement only we have the return statement we can directly call this and we don't need this curly brace and the return statement uh, just a second yep uh, element dot city clear the console and see the output again we got a expected result list list of all city now as this is the object that this element represent that particular single object we can further modify this code and we only need the city attribute we don't need the state attribute so we can directly do something like this and like this so in this case what happened is like uh, we are just instead of this object we are separating out and we are only getting this city property from this object and we, di we are directly using this city property so let's clear the console and run the code so you can see we have the array of cities so in this way we can use the map function to get uh, the new array based on the whatever the functions calling functions callback functions we are going to use within the map and we will get a new array yeah i hope the map function uh, is clear now uh, so see you guys on the next video with some other topic till then happy programming